Is the Citizen ProMaster EcoDrive the best pound-for-pound -pound diver's watch you can get? Yeah. Old Line Watches. Hey there, welcome to another episode of Old Line Watches. It's been a while, glad to be back. This is Jeremy, your old man from the Old Line State of Maryland. And today, we are doing a review of the Citizen BN0151-09L. Uh, this is uh, the Citizen ProMaster Diver's Watch, and it's got that little diver's apostrophe, and that means it is ISO certified. Diving right in, we've got a case diameter of 44 millimeters, a lug to lug of 48 and a half, a lug width of 20, 11 and a half millimeters thick, and on the rubbery strap, comes in at a feathery 93 grams thanks to the eco drive movement speaking of this eco drive is the a168 caliber which doesn't really mean a whole lot basically citizen has two levels of eco drive this one and chronomaster which is 10 times more expensive it is encased in a fully brushed 316l stainless steel The only bit that's not brushed is a couple spots on the crown there at four o'clock. It is a flat mineral crystal, as you can kind of see from the glare I'm getting off of my, quote, studio lights. Back to the crown, it's very grippy and a screw down for keeping that 200 meter water resistance. The case back features your usual stat line as well as the citizen warning. Do not open service center repair only. It's kind of like a do not open under penalty of death warning, except it's more of just please don't, please don't guys, please don't. If you're interested in actually servicing these yourselves, it's not the most difficult thing in the world, but if you're nervous about it, get a professional. The strap is made of polyurethane. It is serviceable. It's all you're gonna get out of me about that. It's a basic strap. The clasp that holds the strap in is very nice and very well made. The dial has applied and polished indices all the way around, which are hella loomed. It's got the beaver teeth at the 12369. And the 12 is a little bit larger and has a little polished, I don't know, gap in there to help you differentiate which way is which if you're stuck in the bottom of the ocean. The rest are circles except for the four, which is a half circle because it's getting partially eaten by the date window. The dial itself is kind of a basic blue and that is also doubling as the solar cell for the eco drive movement. The Rehout has a minute track as well as the uh, entire bezel. Going to that bezel, it is a 60 click unidirectional bezel with all of the minutes checked off as well as the fives and the tens having Arabics and a nice fatty loom pip there. The insert is aluminum. The hands are Big, loomed, and chunky. Kind of that stained glass style. The minute hand is colored orange as well. Again, another way to differentiate in the darkness of the deep ocean. The second hand is all white to also be easily visible and readable in low light situations. I apologize for the shakiness of the loom shot there, but it's so bright it is actually blinding me and I cannot hold it steady. Now for the props and the slops. On the prop side, this thing is essentially indestructible and no small part due to its ISO certification, which is super stringent and really incredibly thorough. Um, Mark at Long Island Watch does a uh, a great deep dive, haha, into that if you're interested. 
citizens' eco drive movements are the citizen eco drive movement is time tested, stupid reliable, and it's, it, it is it is literally an actual workhorse. That's right, it's got hooves. And on a kind of a personalish note, it's really unpretentious. It's it's not trying to look fancy. It's not trying to. It's, it's not going to help you pick up chicks. It's it's a dive watch. It's a tool watch. You know, it's going to do that and really nothing else. Slops, this strap, it is hot garbage. I mean, it's nice enough and it's indestructible, which is kind of a downside to it, to be honest, because you'd really want it to just break so you can get a good one. Speaking of good ones, uh, our friends over at Long Island Watch again um, have made a beautiful bracelet that goes right with this for like 60 bucks, I think it is. Absolutely worth it. If I'm not foolish and forget, I will put a link to it in the, in the notes below. All right, bottom line here, this thing is retails around 375, which is too expensive. Uh, I'll just say that. Uh, Citizen is one of the brands that has the slightly inflated but not stupid retail prices. Uh, you can pick these up all day, every day for around 200 to 220 or so, give or take. Um, and that's new. If you look for a used example, of which they are pretty easy to find, uh, you probably knock that down to around 150 or so. And in that range of things, the 150 to 220 for a used or new, yeah, absolutely. Bottom line, it's a great watch to have. It is kind of like a checkbox in the collection, so to speak almost, of having that like really fantastic dive watch. So check it out, you won't regret it. Until next time, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. This has been your old man from the Old Iron State, signing off.